some news. My name is Mike B, aka Phony. Today's date is November 6, 2020, aka Election Day 4. <laughs> but don't worry, we're not going to talk about that stuff right now. Okay, we're going to get right into the into the the news news, the video game news stuff. We're going to ignore all that. You know, it's been running our lives for the past four days. E day plus four, exactly. Everybody say thank, you. say welcome, 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 chat. Thank you so much for joining us today. We need to fill in. My my uh, my co-host couldn't make it, so uh, we got chat to fill in for him today. Thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> a child scream outside in the hall right here. <laughs> uh, today is uh, episode sixty nine. That's right, episode 69. Oh, hi, Donut. Um, okay, fine. Come up. Come up, say hi. Let's talk. It's episode 69, Donut. Can you believe it's episode 69? Isn't that so amazing? Let me just show everybody my wiener. Oh, it's so perfect. Oh, you such a... Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay, you go. Go, go, go. Oh, love ya. <laughs> Is this a nice episode? Yeah, that's a big wiener. That's what she said. Um... Actually, that is what Jen says, because Donut is a very, very, very beefy, beefy wiener. It's crazy. Um, so, uh, today, we're going to start off with a little bit of Twitch news. Uh, Twitch has been, well, maybe not Twitch, but somebody has been dishing out so many DMCAs. We talked about it last week. The RIAA, R-I-A-A, RIA, uh, has been going just ham. With legal shit they hit up github that for the youtube dll or youtube dl um they hit up uh, uh obviously twitch for their own like soundtrack beta tool that they try to use so that people could have music and they're like nah you don't have the right licenses sorry um they have dmcas going out to individual streamers they're on exactly they're on a war path they're bleeding cash that's what it feels like it feels like they're bleeding cash nobody's touring right now they're not really signing too much the the market's shifted over to soundcloud and Bandcamp and Everybody upload their own music to Spotify anymore. So why the fuck you need a label, right? Everybody's streaming their live shows. It's like, yeah, I'm just gonna have a stream live show. My favorite band, The Bronx, did a stream, a live stream concert uh, from uh, uh, that you'd pay a ticket for, and you get it. You just go and watch the live stream. It was fucking awesome. I didn't watch it, but uh, um, but yeah, fucking that's what everyone's doing. So who needs a label? Who needs a label anymore? So yeah, they're looking for money. And the best way to do that is by being dicks to everybody. Uh, System of Down just released a new album. That's right, they did. They did. They, wait, they, released, they released two songs, right? They announced a new album, I think, is what it was. Uh, <clears throat> so, hmm. Uh, RAA is always uh, Bleed Money. There's an old corp that's so out of touch right now. It's it's very much feels like print, right? It feels like print. Uh, it's a two-song LP? Yeah, okay. Oh, it's just LP? Dang. Um, but I'll have to listen to that later. So, yes, DMCAs are going out. So many DMCAs are going out that Gmail's actually filtering it as spam, even if you have Twitch emails that you normally get, like if I get a DMCA notice, I'll get it in my email, right? My regular, my primary inbox. Um, but they're sending out so many that Gmail is actually flagging them. And they're ending up in your spam folders. So, I mean, if we just go ahead and take a look here, this is streamer bands who we follow and we want to follow this stuff. It's very scary. You don't want to see, you don't want to see streamer bands has tagged you in a tweet. You don't want to see that. Uh, <laughs> but that's what's happening here is that there's so many, like this guy, um, <clears throat> whoever this guy, uh, uh, Limeism, uh, he is banned and He's no longer partnered with Twitch, so he also lost that. Uh, there's just one lucky day. I mean, I also lost his partnership. Um, you see, MCS Open. I, I don't know a lot of these people, but we do have a few of these guys that are not. Like, a lot of this is just maybe smaller streamers um, who nobody really knows. And then you get some that are much bigger. Like, uh, as an example, there's Boy Boy. Boy Boy, who is... A um, ex Dignitas CLG and Curse Gaming League of Legends esports competitor. Uh, he's now a streamer. <clears throat> he was also banned from Twitch. And in most cases, we've seen the uh, we've seen the cases get overturned. Right? We've seen uh, them not cases get overturned, but you know their accounts get reinstated. So we'll see, especially with some of the bigger ones. So it was like uh, what was it? Something. Let me pull up the. The list here. Let's see if this has a good list. There's a few in. Oh, uh, it was Project Mail. We're gonna talk about her in a second. But anyways, there's a few streamers that were taken down, and then a couple days later they're reinstated. So they went through and they said it was DMCA. They deleted all their clips and all that stuff, which is something I've been struggling to do, but I'm successful. 
to some degree. I've got most of them culled, but I still have more to work, more to do. Um, Voy is also like super nice. Yeah, so uh, Voy is, you know, not, this is not like a toxic League of Legends, you know, player or anything like that. Like, this is somebody who is relatively good hearted, and you could, you could tell by his, uh, I mean, by the responses. It says, sorry, man, you were just too toxic, unlike other League streamers, right? Like, people know that this is not the kind of person that something like this should happen to, unless, of course, they break the rules with having a clip from 2015 get flagged for DMCA takedown, right? Um, <clears throat> so I don't know if his account is back. Let's go and click on this because earlier was not. Let me see if he's updated. He's not updated. It's been 23 hours and I don't believe there's any update on this. Yeah, so he's not lost his partnership. His first ban. Um, but we may still, we may see that it uh, gets reinstated uh, later. But still, like, this is not, this is not like small fries. Like, this, these are like some big streamers that are getting hit with this. There's no... There's no protection, right? It's like if you if you have a clip somewhere with some kind of sound on it, and the RIAA or some other you know governing body, <laughs> copyright body decides, hey, you know what? That's mine. Uh, then you can lose your account. Uh, what is this Devin Nash thing? Is this related to what we're talking about? Let me see. What do you got, be MLM? Uh, streamers are still being DMCA for clips. Of oh, so this is the next thing I want to bring up. Thank you so much, MLM. Uh, streamers are still being DMCA for clips. Vods they deleted. Why? They're still on Twitch server, even if you deleted them. Below are my deleted clips. Yeah, here, here's one that they stored for 2016. Oh, look at that. Uh, we deleted our entire legacy, and Twitch still didn't protect us. Yeah, this is. I, I've I've heard a couple people talk about this actually, and this is fucked up. Um, <clears throat> What does it say? So people will cry about it for a while and then adapt to the new rules regardless if it's good or bad from Twitch. This is this is uh, different because this is like a history of playing games and in a lot of cases having the music in the game flagging your accounts, right? Which is kind of fucked up. I mean, I got a flag for uh, Tony Hawk, the new the new Tony Hawk that came out. The music is in the fucking game. Right, uh, so something absolutely needs to get, be done by this, uh, done done about this from Twitch because if this is happening, which we could see, it looks like it is, and this is not the first case I've heard of this, um, where even if you delete your Twitch, your your vods and your clips and all that stuff, you are still getting um, getting flagged. Uh, music and games is getting flagged is not a new thing. Well, listen, yes, music and games getting flagged is not a new thing. Um, Getting your Twitch account deleted for a VOD that you deleted <laughs> because uh, it may have had something on it and you want to play it safe, that is a problem. That is Twitch's problem. That's not our problem. Uh, it's not our problem to vet new games. What should happen, and we've done this before, uh, is you make a list of uh, uh, streamer stream-friendly games where like you can you know if, if somebody gets flagged it goes on a list like don't stream this game that i believe the last time this happened that might have been youtube actually we did that uh that was something that we put together so that way we could you know not to say i but like people put together so that way you could basically shame folks and saying hey you don't don't flag this stuff or, or clear your music or whatever um <clears throat> Dragon Force can take it out for playing Dragon Force. You say it will sort itself out. Well, well, we'll see. Uh, flagging and punishing people for alerts that have been open source sounds, but uh, uh, remain popular by a specific game. Exactly. You can't validate the claim if you can't access delete VOD anymore. That's another thing. And I, th I think I showed you guys my my takedown that I got the first time we talked about this about two weeks ago. Is that um, we don't know what it was. It just says it was just taken down. Uh, and it was deleted from the server, which apparently not. Um, so yeah, this is, this is a problem. This is a problem. Like they, the communication on this has been nil. I haven't seen any communication from Twitch about this. Uh, I wonder if they are kind of stuck legally where they don't think they, they don't know exactly what to do or how to handle this. Um, what they should do is if we delete clips, if we delete stuff, they should delete it or at least not let not let these uh, scraping services, these uh, you know content ID matching services or scripts, uh, scrape the repository where they have these files. Just move these files that are deleted somewhere else. I understand why they want to keep this stuff, right? They want a history for everybody. You delete a clip because you whipped out your dick on stream on accident. It happens, right? So you delete the clip and you delete the VOD and you think I'm in the clear. Well, you're not. And that's why they keep they keep this stuff. 
uh, for their own protection. You see, the storage on Twitch's site is probably a, a legal thing. Exactly, exactly. The problem is they keep audio copy of the vids. Exactly. Twitch is just assuming everyone is violating. Twitch is indeed doing a stupid. Indeed. Um, seven years for records? <laughs> Statute of limitations? <laughs> no, I whipped my dick out eight years ago, okay? I shouldn't get in trouble for that. Uh, <laughs> when did that happen to you, Mike? I deleted the VOD. It's fine. Uh, they <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it doesn't exist. Um, so you show I oh you're right you got oh it's true I did damn it this show we know earlier what does it mean the access deleted stuff somehow if they can scrape it oh wait does that mean we can access yes yeah apparently yeah so uh so yeah this this is still an ongoing issue uh, that we're not really getting a lot of communication from Twitch uh, about <sighs> but. Maybe we'll we will just adapt. We'll just stop streaming games. We'll just stop streaming games, and then uh, people will stop watching the platform, and we'll go back to Justin.tv again, and that'll be it. All playing the same generic Monster Cat music, and that's it. <clears throat> Speaking of takedowns, Project Melody, uh, who is a uh, a VTuber, it is Project Melody is. I don't know the names of the ones from YouTube, but basically it's like a full body, uh, completely responsive type of a VR system. What was it? Uh, he is something happened. Okay. Um, where you can basically, you know, have sensors on yourself and you could like move around in a space and people, shush, is that real? We're getting there. Uh, people can, um, uh, you know, see your virtual character, like in VR chat and all that stuff. Uh, hollow live network. Yeah. I just want to explain like what the, like what the tech is because a lot honestly not a lot of people have seen it um but yeah it's basically having your aunt your your waifu come to life okay um and type youtuber animated avatar exactly so project melody was one and uh she got nailed with the dmca takedown and it said that she's no longer partnered with twitch um now Yes, she has been reinstated, uh, but the story in which I was going to just be like, okay, cool, it's fixed. We'll just probably just not really say anything else. Um, but the story of what happened is actually really interesting uh, and really fucked up. So she posted a twit longer because that's what you do. That's what you do when, she, when you know something's going on. Uh, so she's paid. Uh, and I don't know if the, if the gender is true. Somebody said he plays she. I don't know enough about the character to know. So we'll just call it a she because it is a she on the what we see is a she. But um, she says that uh, she she got this uh, uh, 3D modeler to make this character for her. Uh, and it's a very detailed character. It's got uh, you know, the, the eyes like react, the mouths react, we get expressions, a full movement, all this stuff. Like it's fully rigged. Um, and she paid, she paid fucking, what is it? $5,000 uh, for it. Well, this is, this is not it. So da -da -da -da, it's the invoice. Here we go. Invoice, invoice. There we go. So she paid $5,000 for this 3500 for the completed model and 1500 uh, for special unity setup and features and you can see character design full character model full body rig hair and clothing physics uh complete blink morphs special body specialty body and face morphs face capture morphs there's like all kinds of things there's so many layers of shit i don't even know what half these things are um but made the character for it five thousand dollars paid for it everything seemed fine uh and then 5k emo yeah it's fucking a lot that's a lot i had no idea it was this much uh and then she gets hit by the same person who made the uh made the model for her so she comes out and she says that this is a long time coming where she has been dealing with this person she's got the receipts she has the actual receipts boom boom uh boom boom actual receipts showing that she paid the money to this person and <clears throat> also a uh uh, a chat log showing the discussion that she had with the person where initially she made a deal with them saying we're not going to go ahead we're uh, we're going to I'm going to go ahead and own the IP but if you want to be part of it as like a model creator or whatever and he was like cool yeah you can just own it whatever let's actually pull it up here oh that's not it um 
I believe it was this one. There we go. So it says right here, it says, hey, I'm filling out the copyright registration for Melody since we're so close to completion. I just need to know if you want to be listed in the registration as the author. Uh, and he said, yeah, just put like character design modeler, blah, blah, blah. Ha, ha, ha. All right, she's like, ha, ha, yeah. Normally I'd say it qualify as work for hire, but since we don't have a contract outlining that, it technically doesn't qualify. Either way, I could still hold the IP rights. I just also need to list the actual author. And then he goes on to say, he says, but the IP owner and publisher is somebody else. He says, uh, he says yeah, I helped, but in the end, this is yours is what he says um but this was also december 4th 2019 and i'd imagine since then she's gotten much more popular and it's come around he wants more money um <clears throat> game developers should make an option for new games to disable third-party music for streams oh so sorry moving on. um the invoice has the line item for the commercial rights uh to it mm. oh right in it yeah yeah i didn't even see that thank you so much let's go back and take a look at that invoice actually i'd like to see that let me see. see no, no, no. I'm trying to see where where is the uh, is it in here? Special mask, commercial model. Where do you see that? Yes, enhance and eight. Yeah, enhance and eight. Kind of that project doing their seat unless upgrade otherwise. Last line item: special emission mask textures for Unity. Commercial model is that what this is? Commercial model. The X? Oh, okay. All right. So that's what that means. <laughs> it doesn't explicitly say that he's relinquished rights to this person, but uh, commercial model, check. Sure. All right. So that's what that means, guys. Uh, <laughs> so she's had a lot of conversations with this guy going back and forth where he was, um, I mean, I'll just read this, read this to you here. He says, at some point he asked if I would be interested in a partnership deal with his company. So this is after she paid, everything was fine. He came back around and said, hey, you want to like be partner with my company, Giga Music Group? Uh, she said, I was interested in hearing the deal, but at that point I hadn't agreed to anything. Uh, only that I'd like to hear what they had to offer. And over the next few months, he he still continued to help me with things, but refused compensation for it. And so that's what we have in this right here. There's basically lots. Let me see if I can get a bigger version of this here. Um, it's highlighted here, and it shows all these instances where you know they're having some back and forth. This is only a couple months after the fact, right? Uh, after the initial model being built. And going through <clears throat> and saying, you know, are you sure you've been doing so much? Can you invoice me for it? I feel really bad you're doing all this work. Ha ha, we'll see, don't know. Uh, this is so, so much little random stuff. Uh, even so, let me pay you for your time. Yeah, don't worry about it at the moment. Ha ha. Uh, I asked numerous times to pay you. So this guy comes back and he's like, I don't want to complicate things on this side of the community and future possibilities for both of us. We're friendly on friendly terms. Also, I want to reiterate, I'm sorry for being rude, all this stuff, whatever. And then she says, I, you know, I try, I'm trying to pay you so many times. And the reason why he's getting flustered he's with her is because he wanted her to become a, a partner with the company and felt that by doing all of these free things for for her she she was indebted to him uh so it goes on it goes on and eventually it ends up leading to he want yes he, he wants forty thousand dollars a month for this oh sorry no that's not that's not what that is um that's for the services that she was going to get through Giga Music Group, and she decided not to go that route. Uh, so over here, it says he demanded $45,000 along with 25% of merch sales for using assets that he says he rendered. And it's all right here. It says, so I thought about it. You can pay me forty five dollars for my renders that you sold of mine and still have plastered all over your stuff. This will cover what you owe me for managing and all of the random stuff I went out of my way to do for you. you this, this sounds like simping gong wrong to me. That's what this sounds like. Just he tried he tried he tried to get in good and it started to fall apart and now he's trying to throw her under the bus and try to make some money money off of it. Just yeah. So forty five thousand dollars on twenty five percent of merch sales uh, and she ended up just stopped responding. Uh, and from that point, the rest is just the guy talking shit whatever until she uh, he submitted the. Um, uh, the DMCA takedown on all of her VODs saying that he owned all of that shit. So this is really bad for Mr. Digital Rex, whatever his name is, right? This is really bad for him. If she can afford to pay $5,000 for a, for a 3D model, I imagine can probably afford, and Xebrios is saying here, uh, will be able to afford somebody to go ahead and take this up legally and uh, extract a little bit of money out of this company he's got. Uh, especially if he's making $5,000 for a 3D model, probably he's gotten some money from other sources. 
right? So Zebrio says, I saw her stream when she got her account back. She got like gifted like 1200 subs. That's amazing. Good, good. This is fucked up and it's so disruptive to your content, right? Like getting banned and coming back after a week, like you lose so many subs, even going on vacation for a week. Uh, you come back and you you have such a huge sub drop um, and it's not even to any fault of her own. Uh, it was only for like, uh, what, three days, I think, that she was uh, locked out of her account. Maybe less. But yeah, it's easier for Twitch to just not take the risk. Yeah, that's true. So Twitch didn't. Here's the thing. Twitch didn't have all this information. Right. Like all these receipts and all this stuff. Twitch didn't have all this information. Um, so they they react. And in terms of DMCA takedowns, they kind of have to react and then you can file a counter DMCA or counterclaim. Uh, and then if the other side wants to take it to court, then you could take it to court. But this guy is going to fucking lose if he goes to court because there's all this goddamn paperwork showing and all these chat logs showing that the guy is just a failed simp. Ridiculous. So she's back. And everybody was, everybody lived happily ever after. No, it's <laughs> but pretty much she got her shit back. Uh, she got 1,200 subs gifted uh, and probably tons of other donos, just money. And she could turn that around. And if she wants to pursue any kind of legal action against them for for illegally using the DMCA system, uh, then she could totally do that. She could totally do that. They live happily ever after. Oh, man, you're right. You're right. This is the part of the reason why B has all this stuff for the photo stuff. Receipts, contrast. That's right. I have I have all my behind the scenes footage. I have all of my uh all of my releases. I got all that shit. Paperwork, man. You gotta have all that paperwork. Needs it. Um Luda, what do you send me, Luda? Let me see. Ah, uh, you sent me the fucking clip. <laughs> uh, thank you, Luda. <laughs> I'll look at that later. Um probably a clip clip of me talking about my my, my penis or something. Uh anyways, so uh, why people gotta be dicks? All this paperwork killing trees. Uh, was that this? Uh, what was this person's content? I don't know exactly what kind of content they do, but typically what they do is either some kind of um, like just chatting format, uh, or they play uh, you know, virtual reality games, or they play uh, uh, I don't know, like some kind of like Sims like experience or whatever, chatting with your girl. So you know, uh, the gimmick is the draw. There you go. She plays games. Yep. Um, yeah, oh yeah, they, uh, sorry, and they also play games, like, regularly, like, they have the face cam and all that stuff, so, yeah, Variety Streamers is, is pretty well, but there's, it's a unique, it's a unique case, uh, it, it, when you talk about, uh, VTubers and whatnot, um, she does actual chatterbait streams, yeah, I don't know if you noticed that, but in the, uh, in the receipt here, in the invoice, let me go and pull it up again, mm, let me see, in the invoice, oh god, it's gone, uh, it does say that there is a what does it say? Um, based on a class. There we go. Multi-layered clothing plus bikini top with open version. Hey, ah, 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 ah. So yeah, maybe a little bit of action on Chatterbait. Are there are there a lot of uh, of like VTubers on? Chatterbait? Just push a button, it comes off. It's so much easier than a bra, right? You gotta do that, that. You gotta do that. I can do the one hand thing pretty good. I got pretty good practice on that. But it's fucking tough, man. Shit's like a fucking crazy locking mechanism. Uh, so, good for her. Good. She was the first VTuber on Chatterbait. Oh, wow. She was the first big one. Oh, man. That's gotta be. That's gotta be just so. So upsetting to some of the other uh, content providers that somebody's like who doesn't even have to show their face doesn't have to show their face. Let's go to Chatterbait and see if she's on right now. No I'm kidding. <laughs> Level won't do. We won't do that. How about that? Um. So <laughs> speaking of Twitch, uh, <laughs> Twitch is also. Doing other things uh, that don't necessarily seem terribly com consumer friendly, but we should note uh, that it's it's a necessity, and that is punishing folks for using ad block. So it says right here, thanks for watching. You may be using a third party tool or browser extension that is impacting site performance. For the best Twitch experience, head over to twitch.tv and support the stream. If you're already watching on Twitch TV, please review your third party tools. So it says Twitch is targeting viewers using ad blockers by running frequent ads in an attempt to annoy them into submission. 
<laughs> You'll have to disable your ad block to stop these, otherwise they'll run every 10 minutes. Uh, impact is everywhere. Yeah, you've, you've been getting those without ad blocks. Oh my god. You know, I sub to Twitch Turbo again to get rid of the pre-rolls, and I still fucking get them. Oh, what? See, I've lost track of which... There's like Twitch Prime, which now is only for the person that you're sub to. There's Twitch there's, uh, uh, Turbo, uh, which I thought was supposed to be for all ads across the entire site, regardless of whether you're sub to the person, but maybe that's not the case. I don't know. Um, watching on VLC right now. <gasps> Hacker man. <laughs> you can't do that. What about my ads? Uh, I feel like it would just drive people to... Uh, uh, who bothered to install ad blocks anyways yeah you have turbo so i should not get ads and it says it that's right uh so this is an interesting attempt to get people to stop using ad block uh there's always going to be this friction between people who don't want to get served annoying and intrusive ads uh, especially on live content where the content doesn't pause um and of course advertisers who want to sell ads uh, I, I I think that there's just ultimately there's got to be a middle ground where well, not middle ground but there's got to be a something we could put in that is not banner ads that's not uh you know takeover ads that's not even like the picture in picture thing like that was great I remember praising that when they announced that Twitch where like you'd move your camera like this frame here that we're in would like move to the corner of your of your Twitch browser window um, and the ad would play in the middle, but you would still see like the action and whatnot. Like I thought that was a great idea, but even so, even with that, it's still annoying. Like it's still annoying. So there's gotta be, we need a new format of advertising somehow. I don't know what it is. I thought I turned that off. Anyway, so Brian, thank you so much. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, oh, hi babe. Hello. Oh, how'd you do? Oh, thank you. Cheers. Thank you, babe. Chat says hi. Uh, they need to do positive reinforcement for watching ads instead of negative, like how they do bits. Just try, you know, they did give away bits for Bruh. watching ads before, didn't they? I don't know where that ended up going. Um, use a Firefox extension, Firefox extension for YouTube, and it makes the feed uh, feed me low bandwidth, white screen version of the ads instead. So my ad time is probably twenty five percent than what it should be. I have also heard on top of this, by the way, which some of you guys might be able to vouch for this. Um, I have also heard. Uh, I have also heard that they, if you're using ad block, you'll get served 480p feed. Is that true? Uh, I have not seen this in action. That's just what I've read. Is that they'll basically still just serve you a lower quality feed? I'll let you guys answer. Yes, you had it. Happened to you? Okay. It's the auto BS. Confirmed 480 for certain ad blockers. Interesting. 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 So, listen. We don't have a solution for this yet. You would think Amazon would have some way, some way to create a way to for advertisers to make money on this platform that's not the same tired old run an ad for 30 seconds, right? Seriously needs to go away. We're we're way over that. We're we're done with that. A pre-roll maybe, but a mid-roll? Like, no, we're done with that. It doesn't that doesn't work here. Uh somebody somewhere, some marketing genius needs to come up. Oh, I got an idea. Boom. Do it. Right? It has to happen because this is not gonna last. But I understand why they're doing it. They need to have revenue to cover the millions of dollars in uh in bandwidth that they spend every single month. Right? And you, th and you think, you know, I know I just said, you know, Amazon should come up with blank, but you would think, well, Amazon can just pay for, uh, should just pay for the servers or whatever. Uh, the company still needs to be profitable. Otherwise it's a sink. So why would they keep it? And if, if Amazon just relinquished control of Amazon or of Twitch, it's like, here, just, you're fucking on your own. Right. I don't think Twitch would last. I honestly don't think Twitch would last. Uh, See, Amazon is a small indie company, exactly. Like Bounty. You like I like Bounties, too. Semi-transparent overlay on stream. Yeah, like a banner or something somewhere. Something. Um, I mean, it's still a banner, you know, right? So it's like, it's tough. It's tough. Uh, bounties for watching ads on stream would be great. The problem with Bounties is that, bount well, Bounties for watching ads is a good idea. We've had that a couple times. We've watched TikTok together. Um, Bezos just dumped 3 billion Amazon stocks today. Money is tight. Whoa. I don't think that's the case. I don't think money is tight. 
I don't know why he's dumping Amazon stocks though, but uh, um, he's made a ton of money. Is he checking out? Maybe. Hmm. Um, have you seen some of Olivia's comment about the time that she spent on Twitch? Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. Are you kidding me? Like. Olivia's been in my house. <laughs> we talked about this stuff extensively. Uh, yeah, we've talked about some of her experiences there at Twitch, and they are not all rosy. Um, and we know, we know that uh, Twitch has their own internal issues uh, as well. So, you know, uh, back to like you know trying to make enough money to stay afloat. That's still a problem. You know, they they still have an office in San Francisco. They could probably just. Get rid of that. Just have everybody work remotely. DJ Wheat's doing it, right? He still works for Twitch. He's living somewhere in the East uh, and still working for Twitch. So it's very possible they could just go remote and just do it that way. Uh, save a little bit of money there. Now, that's not going to cover servers. I'm not naive, right? They're probably paying like $400,000 a month for rent, right? Probably a huge building, $400,000 a month, something crazy. Um, rent and utilities, all that stuff. Um but the money that they're spending on actual data transfer bandwidth for serving 1080p 60 uh, constantly is staggering. Uh, they see Shannon Sacriel's wife can confirm the amount of BS goes on there. Yep. Uh, Bezos just takes a 50% pay cut. Done. Market's about to crash. Bezos knows it. I am shorting the market overnight tonight. I've been making 20k a month playing with the volatility of S&P 500. Really? Do I, should I dump mine too? <laughs> we'll see um it's like pocket let to amazon don't amazon own their own service though yes but they but they still cost money to operate like, yeah they still cost money to operate they, there's still a cost there um it's not i mean you know this martha but uh just in general though like yeah you, it, it's it's not like the it just exists and it's just, oh well we already have the space go and throw it on here like it still costs bandwidth it still costs you know at a base level it still costs money um owning server zebrios thank you noted uh, Amazon has their own data centers. Any of this, they, they don't pay rent. They still, there's still, even the, if you own something, there's still a cost to maintaining. There's still a cost for use. There's still power. There's still just a base bandwidth for whoever the providers are going through, right? They're all, so they're only the provider to a certain extent. Still got to get out there. Uh, there's still people that maintain these things. Uh, there's keep, there's the, the AC that you need to keep the server room from catching fire. Like there's, there's so much stuff that it's involved with running a data center um, that you can't, yeah, it's not just because they own it that they could just use it and it's free, you know? Uh, let me see. The janitor that always trips over the cable every time. Every time, yeah. Amazon is the internet landlord. The cost of hosting servers paid for AWS service. Um, wait, Amazon is the internet landlord. Uh, the cost for hosting servers paid for by AWS customers. This documentary about Google's data centers is more advanced than government security. It is likely the same. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, replacing the hamsters on their wheels. Exactly. <laughs> uh, you mean they don't just have servers as free range servers? That's right. Yeah, just free range. There's some big field of, of uh, old USB cables. <laughs> a bunch of scuzzy cables, a scuzzy cable patch over here and a... <laughs> that's that things go roam free this roam free um those costs already exist just running them from uh for the store minimal cost for running extra service uh let me see you said restricted to 720p and the stream dropped some frames for me really i haven't dropped any frames yet so don't scare me like that yesterday was rough we had a rough time jesus uh the huge piece roam free in the cat five field that's right guns exactly so yeah they're they're definitely trying different ways to uh, uh to get people to stop using ad block but you don't want to stop using ad block because the ads are annoying because they interrupt the content that you're trying to watch. So there really needs to be some new way. And I'm not a marketing guy, right? I don't, that's not my job. Uh, somebody come up with some crazy way to make this work and make money. Uh, I don't think that bounty, I think bounties is a great way to make a little bit of extra money for sure. But I don't think there's enough people doing bounties. I mean, fuck, I haven't done bounties in a long ass time. Um, and they're easy to do. We just fire it up and say, hey, we're doing a bounty. Let's do it. Let's watch it. They're easy to do. But just still, it's just like there's not enough people participating in the program to uh, to get money into the system that way. They make more money running a 30-second ad on, like, Shroud Stream. You know, they make more money doing that. So... Nobody likes ads. Nobody. Exactly. Nobody wants ads. 
I don't mind targeted ads, but like the ads that I get on uh, on Twitch, they're not targeted. And I don't know if it's because of some way between like maybe the cookies aren't registering or something like that. Or maybe Amazon just forgot who I was or maybe because my shit's not linked. I have no idea, but I don't ever get targeted ads. I get like ads of, like random bullshit. Uh, people use adblock because we spam them with ads. Let's stop the ad. Let's stop adblock use by spamming them with even more unblockable ads. Thank you. Exactly. So. So yeah, um, it's like having no script on. If I go to your site and if it can't function because of no script, uh, I'm not likely to go. Exactly. So moving on. Speaking of things that are annoying, one of these days I'll, I'll get these transitions down. Uh. Blizzard, aka World of Warcraft, uh, has decided that they are done with input broadcasting software. What is input broadcasting software? That is what you use when you're trying to control more than one client. So you can have more than one character in World of Warcraft doing your, your dark bidding. So they've come out with a post here. They slid it under the, they kind of slid it under the radar there while everything with all the whole world of madness watching the, watching the elections are just like, no more multi-boxers. 16 years later, exactly. So yay, finally. So this is a, this is a good thing. This is a good thing. I mean, economically, it's going to hurt a little bit because your reagent prices are going to go up. But if you're somebody who likes to sell reagents and farm stuff and sell it, uh, this is a huge benefit for you because the competition is basically getting wiped. Um, damn, multi-box is screwing up servers. Yeah, we talked about this a little bit a couple days ago uh, when they first when they first dropped this because I thought it was hilarious. We're talking about like, oh, the, uh, uh, the election and all this stuff. We had all the maps up and all that shit. And then it's all of a sudden it's just like, whoop, a little bit of wild news there. So, yes. My experience with multi-boxers has typically been in PvP because I don't really do a lot of PvE. I don't really go out. I don't farm anything, right? I don't do any of that stuff. Uh, I just basically sit, and just queue, go in, run to a multi-boxer, game over, sit, queue, go in. Like That's, <laughs> that's the way the system works for me. Um, but it fucking sucks when you run into multi-boxers in PvP. Oh, yeah, they're terrible. No, they're, they're, they're easy to, in some cases, they're easy to like circumvent because they're kind of limited in what they, they can do, right? They're not necessarily quick to react to some stuff. Um, but some of them, like Death Knights or Shaman, like sometimes they could just come out and just blow you up like a mage. Just blow you up. You have like five mages. Just done. Uh, yeah, that's not particularly fun. Uh, it took them a year of WoW Classic to do this. At least they did it in the first year of WoW Classic. Whereas they're doing it on the 16th year of WoW, you know, retail. Multiplex is probably the most fun I've had trying to do PvP like that. You got to be like one trick. Yeah, Palm Pyromage or something. Yep. They said this in the model room when it came up. The benefit to players. Oh, hold on a second. I lost you. Um, the uh, the benefit to players that are not multi-boxers is great in terms of economically. They are able to farm and make more money because the demand is still there. Uh, where it is now, but the sharp this is sharply lower. Yeah, yeah. So this is the only only good for the average player. Yeah, so this is, like I said, this is economically it's going to hurt players. I think it's going to hurt players um, who want to buy the consumer. Uh, it's definitely going to be a seller's market. Like you can, you can farm it up. I don't think that there's going to be enough people farming mats to top, you know, having, I don't know how many multi boxes per server, but I know there's probably a few. Um, so the multis are also able to completely control the auction house by blocking materials with 20,000 stacks. Fuck. Like 20,000 singles, stacks of singles, right? <sighs> yeah, I know. Um, can I just do some linen cloth so I can go and just power level my power level my uh uh my first aid and then it's just like one 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 how many pages twenty thousand pages yeah no thank you so they do say it says as World of Warcraft has evolved our policies have also evolved to support the health of the game and the needs of the players we've examined the use of third party input broadcasting software which allows a single keystroke or action to be automatically mirrored to multiple game clients. Da, 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 da. And so it says the use of input broadcasting software that mirrors keystrokes to multiple wild clients, game clients, will soon be considered an actionable offense. You believe this policy is the best interest of the game and the community. Um, so that's not a thing if they change the age, so it doesn't matter if singles anymore. Oh, I didn't know that. Awesome. Uh, I said we will so we, even a classic. Uh, I said we will soon be begin issuing warnings to all players who are detected to using input broadcasting software to mirror commands uh, to multiple accounts at the same time. Uh, with these warnings, we intend to notify players that they should not use software while playing World of Warcraft. Soon thereafter, the warnings will escalate to account actions. 
which can include suspension and, if necessary, permanent closure of the World Players World of Warcraft accounts. We strongly advise against using this kind of stuff. Uh, 25 in one stack. What the fuck? Um, so, is it also the statement from Blizzard is totally BS. They say it has become an increasingly negative impact on the game. It's always been a negative impact on the game. Well, I I, I, I don't know if if they made so much money from multi boxes versus just regular players, you know, like if they had um, so many people playing the game, um, or not enough people playing the game, but the multi boxes are making up like a maybe three or four percent of their player base, and maybe they don't want to let, necessarily let that go. I mean, I've seen multi box setups with like you know twenty something you know actual clients. Uh, it's like one main client and then a whole bunch of small windows all around it. It's crazy how many clients people would run um, paying fuck hundreds of dollars a month in subscription fees um sounds like synergy would get you ba banned uh you know it does it sounds on paper like synergy gets you banned but synergy is so commonly used i would think that they would know or for a long time each time it's been brought up they promise to do something about it but they never get around to it yep Pretty sure at one point they even straight up said that they uh, they were okay at multi boxing and claimed it was okay. And it went back on the game. Uh, the average multi boxer has a uh, was the guy running eight accounts to herb, herb and herb and mine. Can we just let WoW retail die? <laughs> just just classic is all we need. Oh man, um, so multi boxing is effectively dead. There is no there is no way that you're gonna want to run multiple characters. And manually switch between clients in order to in order to do that. So maybe it was income for multiple clients, price to client for subscription tokens. Yeah, actually, yeah. You know what? That's a good point, Furious. If that's if if, if let me kind of ex ex build on that. So initially, when you didn't have tokens, they were making fifteen dollars a month from multi boxes. Probably like twelve dollars if they paid for it for a year or whatever, six months. Um, but with tokens. Uh, you can, can't you just farm up enough gold to buy the tokens and then pay for it yourself? Just pay for it that way? I mean, somebody else obviously gets a token, so the demand ends up, you know, the supply and demand and all that stuff, but I feel like as a player, I could just turn gold into subs and I can make a shitload of gold more easily. Uh, someone in a guild is used, would brag about being able to multi multiply 16 accounts, all paid for through tokens. Yes, so... So this is actually, I mean, partially, of course, on behalf of the player, but also in terms of the bottom line, they're losing money in this case. So, well, losing potential money. Um, and it wasn't worth it to them anymore. Dang. There was a little thing that came up. This is Now, this has been resolved, but um, there was this... Uh, GM. Now, GMs always get it wrong. You know this, right? GMs always get it wrong. So this is with multi-boxing dead, people who have bought additional Shadowlands copies are looking for refunds on their additional accounts that they no longer need. Looks like only one copy can be refund regardless of how many accounts you've bought. And like I said, this is wrong. This is wrong. Uh, it says, uh, this part is of the Game Master. The Game Master came in and said that, uh, you, that you can only get a refund on one copy of Shadowlands. And so, of course, you know, this was passed around quite a bit. And he later was able to get, get it clarified saying, just confirm that it's not policy and this was a mistake. So, if you are a uh, multi-boxer and you did pre-order Shadowlands, 16 copies or so, don't worry. You can get a refund on all of them. Rip that GM's job. Do they, they all make mistakes like this. I don't understand. Like, I, There's obviously not like a big book of like rules or anything anywhere. They just kind of go with, like I don't know, whatever... Whatever they feel is right, I guess. Like maybe there was something written in there about refunds on multiple copies, and but doesn't necessarily apply to multi boxers. Who knows? So team hooded to <laughs> uh, interesting view of the WoW token prices. Oh, let me see this. Talk. What is that? Multi boxes is not bannable. What? Hold on a second. Well, that's not coming up. Hold on. What is this? Multi boxing is not bannable. We just talked about this two days ago hold on a second multi-boxing and playing multiple hold on uh and playing multiple world of warcraft accounts at once is not a violation of terms of service please what what so hold on a second because these changes have not made multiple against terms of service what do they accomplish these oh just not the, oh just not the software okay 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 sure okay yeah um so yes multi-boxing is dead uh yeah, but 
yes, you're allowed to you're allowed to multi box, literally managing each individual client. Um, the software is getting blocked. Yes, exactly. So so still, I mean, ultimately, in the traditional sense with multi boxing, that part is dead. Um, unless you, I don't know, write a script yourself or something. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, multi boxing is dead. Long live multi boxing. You have to play them all manually. Exactly. The software is the bad, which basically, again, which basically effectively um, kills multi-boxing. But there are cases where people have more than one client open for sure, which is multi-boxing in the client sense, uh, but you're not necessarily playing, playing them simultaneously by using, you know, broadcasting software. So, um, let's see, exactly the same as EVE Online implements, uh, invitation. Tons of people use IS Boxer, but you cannot use the input broadcasting part. There you go. You could probably find a hardware solution. Probably. Uh, how do remark multicasting is still detectable? They will see your movement server side getting synced. Oh my gosh. Is dual boxing with Declan? <laughs> no. <laughs> is it just, I, I wonder if he's ever going to get into World of Warcraft, actually. Um, let me see. Just get it multiple computers and make, uh, mechanical contraptions to push the same buttons on a keyboard. There you go. There you go. G15 keyboard. That's the first thing I thought. I was like, huh, can I put that in my board? Let me see. Can you multi-box a dungeon? You can, I guess. You can click this healer. Click tank. Click DPS. Poorly. <laughs> Poorly. Um, the day Uncle Check got him through a raid. Oh, man. One of these days. So, moving on. A couple weeks ago, no, fuck, maybe a couple months ago, uh, we talked about Fortnite, Fortnite versus Apple. Fortnite versus Apple, nasty, so nasty. Fortnite comes out uh, using the 1984-themed uh, commercial that uh, uh, that Apple put out back when it was uh, in its, uh, not prime, but that, that's when it was kind of in the upswing. And uh, just, they wanted to, you know, Fortnite, Epic wanted to sell their own product, their own uh, uh in-game currency, whatever it is, or sell their skins directly to the user without using iOS's storefront. They want to just take the full cut. And my stance on this has been that uh, I do feel like Apple has getting so, gotten so big that they need to kind of ease up a little bit on like platform restrictions. Uh, but from a security standpoint, I understand why they don't want to do it. It's 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 there's a there's a there's a little bit of this going on there. It's like I understand this. You're getting so big. It's like Windows. If Windows said you can only buy from the Microsoft Store, right? Like that's fucked up. No one's gonna want to do that. Uh, so that's what Epic is trying to make happen. They want to put the Epic Game Store on iOS, but Apple said you can't do that. You also broke our rules, and they basically ripped the uh, uh, Fortnite and a bunch of other apps and all that stuff off of uh, off of the Apple Store. But, but, uh, they may have found a workaround, or there may be a workaround. Fortnite reportedly returning to iOS via GeForce Now. So, the announcement of NVIDIA is expected before winter holidays. So, they've not specifically said that, <laughs> that they're going to allow, um, at the, the uh, Epic Games Fortnite or, uh, or any other Epic Games on it. Uh, but technically... Technically, this would work. Uh, and also, all Epic games are playable through GeForce now, so it would allow you to play all your other Epic games that were subsequently probably removed uh, during this little quarrel that he had with Apple. Now, to me, if they go this route, they shouldn't be surprised if Apple comes back again and just flat out bans GeForce now. And Nvidia says, "Whoa, okay, we need to distance ourselves from Epic. We can't. We can't. I'm sorry." I'm sorry, look, you guys don't get along. You can't, uh, maybe you should not come to this party. <laughs> Probably gonna go ahead and have them step aside for a little bit. Uh, but I, there is no way, there is no way that Apple's gonna let them do this. Uh, is it GeForce now the one that requires users to purchase through in the, the individual apps though? Yeah, GeForce, is, GeForce now is actually playable through a browser, uh, through Safari. So you you. You can, I think you can buy individual, uh, maybe, I can't remember the details on that, but the fact that you can play the game, games through your, uh, your Safari browser means that, you know, um, GeForce is accessed through the browser, exactly. so banning it is going to be, is going to be more difficult. Yeah, I wonder if they're, if they're going to be able to do anything about that. They're, they're going to try something. 
I don't think Apple likes being fucked with like this. As we've already seen, they've gone nuclear on Epic. Uh, I have a feeling they'll find some way to go nuclear on on GeForce if if they manage to get um, banned games uh, past uh, past their filters through the through a Safari. Uh, Apple could probably just blacklist the website through an update. So listen, if they did that, if they did that, there would be so much shit. Like people, people would blow this up. If they blocked a website because of this, that would be huge. That would be huge. We understand why they're doing it. We totally understand why they're doing it. But, but that blocking a page on the internet, come on, man. Come on. That's, 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 that's some CCP shit, man. That's, <laughs> that's some Chinese government censorship right there. You can't do that. So, well, we'll see, though. We'll understand why they do it. But it's uh, the fact if they do it, right? Uh, Apple needs to just blow up. No, man, I got my new phone I got to pick up soon. Jeez. <sighs> they can do it under the guise of security. Maybe. If you're launching, if you're launching apps, but you're not, you're just streaming it. Yeah, that's that's the thing. You're just streaming the game, but you can't have full access to it. Uh, just like you know, if you have uh, any kind of remote desktop software, that's basically how it functions on your phone. Um, see, oh, did I say CCP? <laughs> CCCCCCP. Just fucking policies. Ah, eh, you know what I'm talking. You know what I'm saying? Jeez, CCP. Fuck it. These fucking CCP. The monocle. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Tomorrow is November 7th or today. If you're watching this on YouTube, now what happens on November 7th besides 270 electoral votes? Um, well, I'll give you a clue. What could this be? Hmm. Hmm. Mass Effect? Oh, yeah. It is November 7, and it is N7. You do, you know what? You can totally, you can see them. At, I'm looking at the small preview all the way over here, and you could totally see the mass sideways. I was looking at this up close initially. I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, I couldn't make out what it was. But, um, yeah. We are likely going to get a Mass Effect remastered trilogy remastered uh, announcement tomorrow can't play any music because of DMCA but can I see Miranda's ass in 4k yes that's exactly what this means <laughs> You can see all the texture on her uh, on her hexagonal patterned leotard that she wears. Absolutely. Absolutely, Miranda. Uh, what's Miranda's actual character name? What's her voice character name? Uh, fuck, I forget her name. But she's in... Uh, the... Fuck, I forget. God, what's her fucking name? Let me see. Hold on. Mm... Anyways, we'll come back to that in a second. Uh... But no tangents, no tangents, stay on test. Uh, so yeah, we're probably going to see tomorrow the trilogy remastered. Now, there's already uh, some like 4K texture, like Yvonne Strauss. Thank you, Yvonne. There she is. Uh, there's already like texture, like 4K texture, like uh, uh, mods that you could download. And the game looks great for like Mass Effect 1. So I do have Mass Effect 1 remastered or you know the 4K update, whatever, uh, mod on that I've played. And it does look really, really good. It's horrendously optimized, but it still looks really, really, really good. Uh, no, no multiplayer remaster, no buy. So that's a thing, right? Like the this doesn't include the multiplayer uh, elements. Is that true? I think so. Let me see. Uh, let me just double check that. Let me see. So multi, multi, multi. Oh, it doesn't say. Um, I would be kind of surprised if it actually did include the multiplayer element, but it might. Um, but I'm telling you, the original Mass Effect, which was, I mean, I really liked the RPG element, even though it was super annoying the way that the game was laid out. Uh, the original Mass Effect in 4K looks amazing. Like it's so you, you, you. It looks like how you remember 
You know, like you remember it looking, it rose in the goggles and all that. Uh, and then you go back and you play it and you're like, yeah, yeah. But the 4K update looks great. So if this is at the very least competitive with that mod, uh, then I can imagine this, looks, this is going to look pretty amazing. So um, that is tomorrow. Or today. I had better have a system upgrade too since Mass Effect 1 gameplay felt dated compared to Andromeda. Oh yeah. Oh it, yeah, it, it does. It does. It definitely feels like an old game, but I still I still like it. I still I still liked it more than um I mean I like Mass Effect 2 and you know 3 was okay. Um uh, Mass Effect 2 I felt it was like that was like peak Mass Effect. It was a great the good mix of action, of RPG and all that. Um Mass Effect 1 felt more like way more RPG. Like you were assigning so many stats, and I really liked that customization, all of that shit that you could do. Um I'd be down to play one uh, through one in a remaster though. Yeah. Yeah. Better ending. Yeah, that's right. They probably obviously they include all the DLC and everything as well. Um Mass Effect Marathon. Bro, that's like a 30 hour game. That would take like two months. <laughs> <laughs> it took like two months for all three of them. But it has music, right? God, hopefully it's cleared. Jeez. So? <laughs> uh, all right. So. Uh, GameStop. Who I feel like we talk about quite often, right? And every time we're like, this is it for GameStop. They're, they're going down. This is it. There's no way they survive past this. Well, they're still around. Uh, game who? Exactly. What? <laughs> still? <laughs> Everyone's surprised every time. what they do now? <sighs> so GameStop uh, put up a TikTok competition for its employees on its employee site. They have an employee portal, right? Um and one of the prizes, I'm reading the headline basically, uh, is 10 extra labor hours to your store. So you basically put together a TikTok video where you just you just embarrass yourself doing some fucking dance. And one store, one of the prizes is going to be 10 extra labor hours awarded to your store. So even if you participate in like, for example, this, which by the way has... Copyrighted music, so I'll have to mute this. Here we go. How many people are in this video? Four. Does that mean that they all get two and a half hours each? So they spent time making this video and they're gonna get what's minimum wage like five bucks or something <laughs> no it's up right it's like 16 no 16 oh my god you're right i have no idea what minimum wage is it's like it's like in the tens though something uh so they'll get like you know 20 bucks or something like that for i guess depends on where you live it is it's still 725 fuck in some states that's crazy okay so if they make minimum wage ish they probably make 20 bucks off this each They'll all get 10 hours probably. No, so it says they know it says they award the store 10 hours. Um which is silly. It just it's silly. It's a little it's a little tasteless. It's a little short-sighted. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh federal minimum, minimum wage is brutal. Yeah. Also get the extra hours uh, only get the, yes, they only get the extra hours during Black Friday, a day where they were going being told to work. Yes, that's also true. Um so it says, uh, anyway, that's not the important, but the winner of the challenge will receive an Echo 8, Echo Auto, $100 gift card, and 10 additional labor hours to use during Black Friday week. So it's it's just awarding hours during the busiest week of the year where you're probably going to have to work anyways. It just seems a little, just seems a little taste. You know what's funny? The headline, the headline actually uh, made people think about Hard Drive Mag, which is a satire satirical um a publication for uh, uh mostly for hardware and gaming stuff right and even they said thank you for the submission but this headline is too on the nose <laughs> <laughs> you have the ability to work more hours or minimum wage that's right so even even hard drive mag is just like nah, this is... when <laughs> truth is stranger than fiction uh that was really strange some random people showed up at the house and said they were giving me free food from donald trump what the hell what? What the hell? R slash not the onion. Thank you so much. Exactly what that looks like. Exactly what that looks like. So, 
They get awarded to work more. You can work more. And they have some other prizes too, but still. Well, guys, that's it for the news. It was a short episode, I think. Oh, well, it's about time. It's pretty good. It's been a slow week. There's been a lot of stuff going on in the world. So, you know, it is episode 69. And in celebration of episode 69, uh, and also other stuff, uh, my OnlyFans is free for the next few days. So if you go to my Twitter accounts and dig through the links, or if you go to AK Mike B Photo on Twitter, uh, there is a link there that you could click on and you could sign up for a. We just sign up for an account. If you have an account, you click on it and you'll get in for free. You can see all my nudes. All right. For reals. All right. Thank you so much, chat, for watching. <laughs> Wait for three days, though. Uh, thank you so much, chat, for watching. Sorry, for you guys for watching. And of course, chat for being my co-host today. Thank you so much. So sexy. So sexy. Thank you. And hang out. We're going to talk about other stuff. <gasps> Bye. Oh, yes, sir. Come on over. Me stuck. Cursive tool? On Asprite. Oh, an Asprite? Oh, the cursive tool? Mm hmm. Uh oh. Uh, and you're stuck on it? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. I just want to show you. Just calm down. Right. Yeah, just, just, just. Uh, no, no, you stop. You calm down. This is nothing to get upset about. I'm going to come down and I'm going to help you, okay? Okay. All right, I know it's frustrating. What's that? <laughs> you want to pause my show right here? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to pause my show right here, okay? You guys pause. We're right back. Here, I'll leave you guys with this. Watch that. <laughs> Let me go fix this real quick. <laughs>